Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Miller. Well, front of boundary continues to make its way through the area really into tonight, and that'll give us a chance for scattered showers and storms to, in our northern counties. Pretty much most of us will be dry for tonight, but then as we go into tomorrow, it'll be hot again. Now, depending on the timing of that boundary, that'll really affect our highs. Still think highs tomorrow in the upper 90s, to even some lower 100s. And then as we go into Sunday, some cooler air really settles into the area. Talking highs in the lower 90s. That'll hang on throughout Monday, and then really into Tuesday and Wednesday, heat comes back in for your midweek. Pretty hot again now looking at Manhattan pretty much clear skies. Once again, a benefit of sitting under that area of high pressure. Lots of sunshine there and that's the same story in Holton. Now here in central Topeka current temperature right now here sitting at 104 degrees. Feels like 108 dew point not too terribly bad 65 degrees for your dew point and winds out of the south 16 miles per hour. Now this morning pretty warm of exactly 12 degrees above average 81 for your low right now hitting our high at 104 13 degrees above average. Pretty close to the all time record of 106 Degrees. Now, current temperatures right now, like I mentioned before, 104 in Topeka, 105 in Emporia, 107 in Clay Center, a little bit cooler in Hiawatha, 96, trading cooler off with a little bit more humidity, dew points in Hiawatha in the lower 70, 73 to be exact, a little bit drier in our southern counties, 63 for your dew point in Emporia, and 62 in Burlington right now. Heat index make our feels like temperatures, feels like 108 in Topeka, 112 in Marysville, 111 in Manhattan right now, and winds generally out of the south, 10 to 20 miles per hour, a little bit gustier in Burlington. 20 miles per hour for your wind speed. Now, currently right now in an excessive heat warning, and that is in effect until Friday at 9 p.m. and even a few severe thunderstorm warnings just outside the viewing area, uh, just really on the edge of Republic County there. And looking at satellite and radar, we can mention pretty much most of us are pretty dry and clear skies. Still watching that storm just now moving into Republic County. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Looks like it's going to stay off and out of the viewing area, but if we look across the state. Some showers now in Oklahoma and south central Kansas, but generally mostly quiet. Then off towards, well, really our south and west area of high pressure really has extended throughout the most of the central plains and really flattened out. And that's what is allowing uh, a cool front to really move through the area. As you can see, really from this low pressure system off towards our northeast and then a tailing cold front will form with it and move in as we go into Saturday. And let's check this out here on uh, upper air patterns here. And well, as we go into Saturday, you see high pressure really flattens out and then we start to get this northwesterly flow. That's what we've had for most of July. It really kept us kind of cooler and that, that's what we'll move into Sunday and to Monday. That cooler air slides in really and Monday as well. Before we go into Tuesday, that high pressure system builds its way back into the area. Talking hot for Wednesday or Tuesday, Wednesday. We're watching potential for maybe another front Thursday. Still pretty far out. We'll watch that. We'll continue to keep track of that for you. Now here's the scattered showers that will continue throughout tonight into Saturday morning. And then I think Saturday we'll see pretty much spotty showers for most of the day. But our, really our best chance, I think, Saturday night into Sunday morning, especially for our northeastern counties. Really seeing that rain and I think Sunday will be mostly dry once again, maybe some pop up showers. Chances are pretty low, then dry all the way through your Monday as well. Now temperatures tonight 76 degrees, one is on the north from five to 10 miles an hour. 97 for your high tomorrow, like I said, depends on the timing of that boundary. You may heat up a little bit more or not or not quite as much as that. And taking a look at the seven day forecast here, we have 97 for your high on Saturday, scattered showers Then the rain Sunday morning. 93 though for your high on Sunday. 94 on Monday, but hundreds of turn for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Then watching the, another frontal boundary move its way into the area. This time next week, not too bad. 94 degrees. It's finally over. It'll be back, but yeah, we get a little bit of a break for yeah. sure. That's certainly a good thing. Those 90s will feel like a I nice know. little spring day and yeah, it's still technically <laughs> above average, but from what we've seen, we'll take it. So oh, I'll take it for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to see those 90s back. Oh, yeah, me too. Thanks, Eli. Yeah.